Hey guys, in today's Affinity Designer tutorial we will create together this cool X monochrome logo you see right here. And first of all to start we need a new and clean document. We start by adding um, the graphic tool um, right here and typing in a big X, making it bigger. And for the font I've used Krona1. And then I've um, created a rectangle around Krona1, making sure to make a square, so holding down shift and make a square like this, putting it underneath the X in the layers tab and then selecting the X and adjusting to fit the square. So because I wanted to have the square look and now we have our orientation and we need to create um, some more um, rectangle squares, what you want. And the important thing is to have a uh, um, wife of 100 pixels like this one, making it darker and putting it in this corner, also in this corner right here and in the two other corners. And that's for our magnetic snapping tool. Um, so we have the exact corners and the exact uh, width to a snap to, so it uh, looks um, good uh, and um, with the same um, with the same width um, across all the all the um, all the distance right here, and first of all, make sure that you have snapping activated and also my settings. So we have the same snapping points for our pen tool, and now we can select our pen tool right here, or we can use the um, shortcut P on our keyboard, and then we are starting by going right here in the corner and selecting here and here, also here and here again and closing and then going to this tool again and also the pen tool again so we don't um, adjust to this we have i've seen that we need this to have it in the corner just checking that this is in the corner exactly this in the corner and that one so now we can proceed and again zooming in a little bit so it's better visible um, again using our pen tool and starting right here in the corner Command C uh, set back again in the corner here, here and here and here and closing. And now we can um, color bo both of our curves. So we have now an X curve, making sure that this is above the other curve. And then we can duplicate this curve with Command C and Command V a pasting. And if you're using a Windows PC, just um, use um, Control instead of Command. And then select both curves and subtracting. So we have this one cut out. And then we can zoom in and we can select A for the um, No tool right here. Um, that's the shortcut. And we can select both of them and holding down Shift to have the exact line and moving outside again with the um, downside right here we have to be careful that we have the exact line if we don't hold down shift it will be um, hard to get the exact line so we're using shift for this and trying to get the exact um, distance between both and now we can delete our x right here so it's not confusing us and we can also um, make the um, stroke transparent because we only want a filling right here. And what we need now is um, we need this to make it to 250 pixels and also copy paste again, um, rotating downside with holding down shift. We have except, um, 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 we have 15 degrees um, at once. So we don't have this little um, um, little numbers we have the exact numbers and we need 90 degree again copy paste and also put down to here and also copy paste and then turn around again and deleting this one and putting here and also deleting this one and deleting this one and what we are now gonna do we select our pen tool again and we're selecting this corner to this corner to this corner and then selecting V for our line. Where is it? Okay, we need to do this again. So again here and here. And now we can select our line with V with our um, cursor right here and holding down shift and moving. So it's snapping to this side. We have to, um, to click on it again. So it snaps and shift and snapping. 
and doing the same on the bottom right here and again the line and then V and selecting and V again and selecting and shift and down so we have it here and now we're moving this a little bit to the middle so we don't get distracted by these uh, snapping curves we had previously so here it should, it should be fine and now we can again select all the curves we need right here so we um, don't have problems with our pen tool and now we can click on P for our pen tool and we can um, go on the new look right here and closing the line right here and then selecting our curves again selecting at the bottom side our curves right here and right here and then again with the pen tool creating this new look for the X like this and closing the line and now we can delete this one because this was just to help us with uh, this shape and now we can color both of them maybe a bit darker and not the stroke so the filling and also with where is it this one and now we can delete all the help files right here, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we need a rectangle again, making it a square or whatever you want. We just need the height of 50. So we're going 50 and 50 right here for this one. And moving down to this, um, that can be as much as you want to. I think this is, um, um, is um, enough for me, but uh, that's subjective, so up to you. And then selecting this one and moving to the top, so we're snapping right here, and also this one and moving down, so we're snapping here again. Now we can delete all of them, so both, and the background rectangle shape. And we can also delete these curves that are here from uh, creating the shape. And now we have to adjust this um, this line again. So we're clicking on the No Tool A and select the holding down Shift and selecting the um, corners to the nodes to have it fit right here, making sure to have the exact line again. And, and for the bottom two, so it's snapping, make sure to have the line and snapping. And also right here and right here. So sometimes hard to have the line so now we have it and now we can go back again with holding down shift selecting both holding down shift like this and again for the bottom side as um, much distance as you want make sure to have the line again and to make it be nearly the same so now we have, can um, combine both curves, selecting both by holding down Command or Control on Windows and then going to Geometry and clicking on Add. And now we have our logo nearly finished, selecting all of, them, all of the curves, making it a little bit smaller by holding down Shift and like this, putting in the middle. And now we can, for example, give it a background color like something dark something completely black, make it underneath and give this curve a white look. And these curves, I've used a uh, um, pastel gold um, tone for this one. So I'm gonna use the exact hex code again. And this one is um, this hex code, copy it, and then go back to this logo, double click and paste it. And we are finished with this cool X monochrome logo. And that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye.